Welcome to chapter one of the HTML5 course by education.org. My name is Dion Dreschers. What we're going to do now is create our own website. What's needed for that? What we need for it is a web browser and a web browser that supports HTML5. You can do this lesson even with an older version browser, it doesn't matter. Internet Explorer is a web browser for Windows, Firefox, Opera, Google Chrome, or Safari for Apple, and even there's a Windows version. If you want the newest version that supports HTML5, I can redirect you to the website uh, of Firefox, and you can download here the newest version of um, of Firefox and it recognizes I have a Windows version so it will download the Windows version. If you're running a Mac it will show you here the Mac version and Linux it will show you the Linux version. What do we need more? We need a simple text editor and the simple text editor is always um, shipped with your operating system. Um, Notepad for Windows, text edit for Mac OS and gedit for or an alternative for Linux. What don't we need for creating our own website? What's not needed? A web server. We don't need a complex web server. Also, we don't need an internet connection. We can start right away. And let's start right away. Um, I'm starting Notepad. Here I can say hello world and I'm going to save it. It's reported to save as a plain text document, save as a plain text document. Um, the index, the file name always has to be index it's for the first page dot html. This has always to be the first the name for the first website I create. And I'm going to save it now on my desktop and save it. Let's go to my desktop and here it recognizes automatically uh, that it's HTML, so it recognizes it's for the web browser, my default web, so web browser, Firefox. I can do double click it and it says here, hello world. Nice. Let's expand it a little bit. Um, I can say hello world. Um, this is our first web site. So file save. I'm going back to my browser and I'm going to reload it. I can also push F5 and it says hello world. This is our website, but I don't see uh, the spaces in between. Well, that's actually true because the web browser and HTML doesn't recognize uh, all those breaks I make, so they're useless. If I want to break it, I have to use HTML, and now we're going to actually start with HTML. I'm going to do it with a so-called HTML tag. A tag looks like this. It's a smaller than sign, and it always ends with a greater than sign. And in between those signs, I have to define my tag. And I want a break and it's defined by BR so this is my break and we're gonna see if that works file save so next time we'll use the combination um, control s go back to my web browser push f5 for reloading and it sees yeah hello world this is our first website I can even put in another break and another one and save it. Control S, back to the browser, F5 with reload, and I can see it's working. I can even put everything on the one line, it doesn't matter. Save, go to the web browser, F5, and it still looks good. I'm going to show you that I also can do it with a more complex text editor and I'm going to start um, 
LibreOffice Writer. So I can say hello world again. If we want to save it, save as going to the desktop. And now it's important, don't save, save it as an ODT, don't save it as a Word document, just plain text like this. And now I can save it as um, index again. Well, let's overwrite the old one. We have and save. Do you want to replace it? Yes. Go back to the browser, reload, and hello world again. So even if you use a, a more complex text editor, always save as plain text. We did this one, and then if I want to save my project, save the website, uh, save this plain text, we've seen it already. The extension has to be HTML, so it's recognized as an HTML document. And the first file you always create has to be index.html. So what did we see in this video? The review. What's needed? What's needed for this one is a web browser and a text editor. What's not needed is a difficult web server or internet connection or whatsoever. Saving a project always as plain text and the extension has to be HTML. This was Dean Dresch for education.org and I want to thank you for staying smart.